woman. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a recipe video. So we recently had some family friends come visit us and they're from Canada. However, the woman is from Brazil originally and she made this vegan passion fruit mousse for me and it was amazing. So I really wanted to share the recipe with you guys because it is super simple and super easy and I'm in love with it. I'm obsessed. I It's one of those things where I've eaten so many different things but I don't know how there's this one thing that I've never tasted before and have it taste so good but so different anyway I just really wanted to share it with you guys because it's so good and super easy so let's just jump right into it okay so first off you will need a high-powered blender I just have this ninja and this recipe literally only calls for three ingredients that's why I love it so much so the first ingredient is coconut sweetened condensed milk I just get this at Walmart then you will need some vegan creamer. I'm just using silk oat creamer. And then you will need to get some frozen passion fruit. This is also from Walmart. Everything I got here is from Walmart, <laughs> not sponsored. But yeah, this is passion fruit. You'll just need to get some of this passion fruit puree to go in it. And that is it. So let's just start. So you're gonna start by taking your sweetened condensed milk and just adding that to your blender. And once you've done that, you're gonna take your empty can of sweetened condensed milk and you're just going to add your creamer into that and fill it all the way. And that's how much creamer you're gonna to want to add. And then you're just going to want to cut this into fourths. So you have a piece about that size and you're just gonna put that in and you can add as much or as little as you'd like. And then we're just going to blend this on high. And you're just gonna blend until it's creamy. I'm gonna taste it real quick to see if it needs anything else. It's pretty liquidy, but I think that should be okay. Okay. Nope, that's delicious. Mm, it's super sweet and so creamy. So this is pretty liquidy. If you can get it thicker, that would be great but it tastes good, so that's all that matters. And then the hardest part of this recipe is putting this in the freezer overnight so it can chill and turn into a mousse. So luckily I have some already prepared and it was already in the freezer overnight. This is what it looks like. I already had some. We're not gonna talk about it. I was just making sure that it worked, okay? So this is what it should look like. It's pretty firm. And then if I try to get some, if you want it to be more moussey, let it thaw, but it's it's pretty moussey. Just a little more icy because it's been in the freezer. So if you want it to be moussey, let it thaw. So let's try it. You guys, this is amazing. It is so, so good. It almost tastes like mango sorbet. So if you like mangoes, highly recommend. It's so creamy. I could seriously eat this whole thing. Mmm, you guys, it is so, so good. I have to go to Brazil now because this is amazing. I just need to try recreating all kinds of things from everywhere because this mousse is amazing. So I really hope you guys try it out and I really hope you like it because I love it so much and I can't wait to make more even though I have enough already. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.